Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Medical professionals gathered in Woodbury to discuss an ancient diet that is attracting new attention. There's a lot of misconceptions about the ketogenic diet, so coming here uh, was a way to educate them about the, not only the misconceptions, but um, a safe and efficacious way to start the diet. So the diet has been studied for epilepsy for many years, but in 2009, a randomized control study proved that the diet indeed was more effective than anti-seizure medications. And, and some of the children in the study became seizure-free. In addition to treating epilepsy, a ketogenic diet is being used for other conditions. For instance, it's not well known that it's used in autism, and it's highly effective in autism. It's not well known for its use in migraines, but it's highly effective. And then there is a healthy fats, a uh, sugar-free diet, which is what I often call a pre-ketogenic diet because I like people to try this out first. And for anybody that has a child with autism, they could try this on their own without medical supervision, whereas the ketogenic diet requires medical supervision. Eliminating all sugars from your diet is not easy. It is difficult in our food culture to eliminate sugar, but baby steps. So the first thing is to, to remove the obvious sources of sugar, which is candy, and then remove sugar that's added to food, like yogurt, or muffins, or granola bars, foods that we think are healthy, but actually have quite a few different types of sugars in them. And it's easier to make a diet change if the whole family is following it. Children will eat what their parents eat. So if the parent is modeling a good diet, the children will pick that up. And some of the professionals in the room are leading by example. Personally, I have been actually following a ketogenic protocol myself for the last six months. A very long time ago, within my first three or four years of practice, I was extremely frustrated because no one listened to a word I had to say. And I realized that the key here was not telling other people what to do, but was actually to do what I'm telling them. They will they'll say to me, it's too hard. I said, why? I do it. So what it really comes down to between individuals, whether they want to or not, that's want to or not, and how self-motivated they are. And our interest is to provide them with the tools to be successful. I uh, simplify this whole process. Uh, go to page six, and you'll see uh, two charts there. One is one-to-one -one ketogenic, and one is two-to-one ketogenic. Today's seminar guided the professionals in the use of some of those tools. My role as the clinician is to provide the, the reason behind it for the parents. Um, having Beth here would help us in the implementation steps and how uh, programs could be used, charts could be used, uh, different food sources, different oils, different companies can be used to implement more and more of high quality fats into the diet and um, fewer sugars. You just want a pure oil with nothing added. We've always been told, at least for the last 30 plus years, that fats are bad for us, when in fact that's one of the most unfortunate statements that we could be telling the public, is that fat will make you fat. Um, sugar makes you fat, and sugar makes you sick. And the proper fats, fed in the right ratios, will actually make you well and sustain sustainably well. Ketones are produced when the body breaks down fat to feed itself, and this process holds some promise in the fight against cancer. Normally our cells are able to metabolize sugar, but they can go to metabolize ketones as their energy source if they have to. Cancer cells have lost that ability. So if we can put a patient into a ketogenic diet, we can actually help to starve cancer cells. This is a promising treatment, but it's not a cure for cancer. At Hyperbaric Medical Solutions, we're not advocating the ketotic diet and hyperbaric oxygen therapy for the sole treatment of cancer, but certainly we feel that it can be a very important tool to add to other regimens that a patient may be uh, using to control their disease.